In this one, we will see how to import text files. In my working directory, I have a text file called sample text.txt, which goes like this. It has three lines. First two lines have four, four words each and the fifth line has five words. Now let me try to import this in R. The command for that is read.table followed by the name of the file which is sample text.txt. Let me try putting this in an object. Let me call it B here. It gave me an error. If it had been a more regular file like having same number of elements in all the rows, R would have tried to import it. But this is a special case so this it is throwing up an error. So B does not, the object B was not even created here in this case. So in order to address problems like this, R comes with a set of arguments for the read.table command. Here it is. Fill I have given it as true and header as false, which means the first line is not considered as the, a variable name line. It is not considered. It's, it will be considered considered as a data line. And fill is equal to true. What that will do is in those places where it did not find a value where it should have, like in the case of our first of our first two lines, there are only four elements, but in the third line we had some we had five elements it will try to make an additional in missing value at the end of the first and second line so that it becomes a proper data frame so when i run this it, though it gives me a warning message b the object b that is it is a data frame it will be created as you can see the fifth variable v5 is blank for the first two lines while the third line looks fine so I sh actually showed you the troublesome case first so that you will be able to remember it more easily rather than having just seen a regular case. So now we will see a more regular case. I have in my working directory another file called another file.txt in which it looks much more regular that is all the lines have same number of words, four words each line. So I will try to import this into R, the same read.table. another file.txt I'll place it in C it gives a warning message but it creates the file without much of a hassle another point I want to drive across in this session is R does not directly import Excel files but it does not mean that it cannot import it ever but you need to we need to install additional libraries to do that so in general if you don't want to install any libraries you can just copy that file into your clipboard say i have a sample.xlsx file here let me open it up now this is the file one simple way to import this is i can select my data like this copy into my clipboard Control c go to my r console read.table Within that, I will give the argument as clipboard and pass it into my object. So D will have whatever I copied in my clipboard. Here my first row has where, where 1, where 2 as values. I don't want that. I don't like that. I will have them as variable names instead. So I will give header as true. And to be safe, I'll give my separate value as backslash t. That's the norm for tab delimited files and Excel should hold good for that too. So when I run this, we are going to get a perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. In case you have any questions, please let me know in your comment.